Hello and welcome to this how-to video with MirrorFit. My name is Patrick, and today I'm gonna to be coaching you on how to do cable flies. The cable fly is gonna hit your pectoral muscles, your pec major, and your pec minor. Really gonna be squeezing through the center and working from there. Set up for the cable fly, you're gonna grab both handles when they're positioned just above your shoulders. You're gonna take one step forward in a split stance and draw in to the center. From here, you wanna think about flying your arms backwards, nice and slow, nice and controlled. Once you reach a point where you're feeling the stretch across your pecs, you're then gonna drive your hands inwards in a downwards motion, squeezing at the bottom for a second. As you come back, nice and slow, hold and squeeze in, driving downwards. Once you're done, slowly come back to the top of your range of motion and controlled, drop the plates and relax. If you find this movement easy, you wanna add a little bit of weight onto the cables. Alternatively, you could increase your reps and head towards failure, so you're really feeling the fatigue in your muscles. If you're finding the movement a little bit tricky, you can work on some alternatives. We've got low to high flies or dumbbell flies. Here are a couple of common misconceptions that people find when they're doing cable flies. Once you've set up into your cable fly position, you wanna make sure you're using your pec muscles rather than your body weight as you lean forward. If you're leaning in, and diving forward with your body, you're not gonna be targeting your pecs. Similarly, if you're curling with your biceps into the center, this is also incorrect. Finally, if you're not getting that full range of motion and you're only squeezing at the end, you're missing out on potential muscle growth. Make sure we're coming all the way back with our chest up nice and tall, driving all the way down to the center, squeezing through our chest. Hopefully you found this video useful and you can add it into your next workout. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll see you soon.